Welcome to Woggle Guide. In this guide, I'll show you how to format and style the text in your emails in Gmail to help them look more polished and professional. Gmail offers a good range of text formatting options to help you style and present your emails. In this guide, I'll go through the full range of ways in which text can be styled and arranged in Gmail. If you want to go straight to the info you're interested in without all the messing about, click on any section below to go straight to that part of the guide. Please do subscribe if you like what you see, so we can let you know when new guides are published. So the first area we'll look at is the options available to style text in Gmail. Let's open a new email window. And I'll type a super quick email just to demonstrate how we can apply different text styles to it. Now your new email screen may not show the text formatting options by default when you open up the Compose window. You can bring up the formatting options by clicking on the A icon on the bottom bar. Let's work through the options left to right. For each option we'll look at, I'll also show the keyboard shortcut for that feature. The default font type in Gmail is sans serif. If you want to change this, click on the down arrow. A number of alternative fonts are shown. Let's highlight some text on the email and change the font to everyone's favourite, Comic Sans, and you'll see the highlighted text changes. Let's take a look at the size of the font. If we click on the drop down option, you'll see there are four font sizes to choose from. Let's choose the largest one to make this text really stand out. The next thing I want to do is look at the text colour. Rather confusingly, this is exactly the same icon as the one we clicked on to open the formatting bar. Let's click on that and you'll see there are two colour options available for text. Firstly, we can choose a background or highlight colour for the text. We also have the option to change the actual colour of the text. I'll change the text colour to blue. Lastly, let's tweak the text in our email by adding some of the more common formatting changes. Let's change this text to bold and I'll select the party theme and choose to underline it. Lastly, we'll add italics to this sentence to give it some emphasis. If you have a particular preferred font type and style, you can set this as your default font for any new emails you write. To change the default font, we need to go into the settings of Gmail. To do that, let's click on the cog icon in the top right of the inbox. From the panel that opens, let's click into the details settings by clicking on the see all settings button. The general tab in this section is chosen by default, which is the one we're interested in. Let's scroll down on this page until we get to the default text style section. Set your preferred font style by choosing the font type, font size and color options for your default text. If you want to reset that text, click on the remove formatting icon to undo any changes you've made. Don't forget to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the save changes button to commit any amends you've made. Let's now take a look and how we use the formatting tool to position and arrange the text in the email. We're still working on our original email and the formatting menu bar has been opened. The first thing I want to do is move the text in from the edge of the email. To do that, I'm going to select all of the text in the email and move my mouse pointer to the icon labeled indent more. If I click on that, the text moves to the right. If I want to move that back, you'll see there's an option next to that link to indent less. The next feature I want to use is adding a list to my email. If I break this text up into three separate lines and select it, to turn that text into a list, I can choose from two list options. The first type of list is a numbered list. To add this, click on the numbered list icon in the text formatting bar. To change this to a bulleted list, I simply choose the bulleted list icon in the bar whilst the text is selected. If I want to remove either type of list, all we need to do is click the list option again and the normal text will be shown. The last text formatting option we'll look at is positioning text in our email. By default, text is always aligned to the left side of the email. If I select the top line of text in our email and move to the alignment icon in the formatting bar, I can choose to move it to the right hand side of the email or leave it in the center of the email. In this final section of the guide, 
I'll show you how you can take your email formatting to the next level with Gmail add-ons. Once Gmail offers a good set of features that allow you to change and tweak your email, the formatting options are limited. Luckily, however, Gmail does support a feature called add-ons that allows you to add additional features and functionality. A small number of add-ons are developed by Google, but the majority are created by third-party developers approved by Google. Once installed, Gmail add-ons will work seamlessly with Gmail via the right-hand navigation panel. If you want to find out how to install a Gmail add-on, then check out the link above for a woggle guide that explains just how to do that. Let's now take a look at two great add-ons that will add some sparkle to your emails. This first add-on is one of my favourites, Jiffy Cat. Jiffy Cat integrates directly with the Gmail inbox and provides a really quick way to find and add gifts to your emails. I'll finish off our birthday email by adding a gift to the invite. To do that, you'll see there's an option to add gifts to emails. Let's click on that. To find a suitable gift, enter a quick search and press return. To add a gift to the email, just click on it once and you'll see that the GIF has been added to our email. B Templates offers a range of preset templates that you can use to add some sparkle to your email messages and it's super simple to use. Once you've installed the add-on, to use a template, let's compose a new email in Gmail. Now we've added the B Templates add-on, you'll see an icon in the Compose window that gives us an option to compose templates. If you click on that, you'll see there are a number of categories which we can click into and then there are literally hundreds of animated and colourful templates to choose from which you can send to friends and family. I hope you find this Wobble Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.